In today's video, I wanna share with you seven styling tips to help you dress better in 2021. So grab yourself your beverage of choice and let's get started. My first styling tip to dress better in 2021 is to fluff your outfit like you would a cushion. So I never put on an outfit and then just leave straight out the door. Outfits always need fluffing. Just like you would fluff a cushion, you also need to fluff your outfits. So this includes things like cuffing your sleeves properly, half tucking, making sure that your seams are sitting correctly on your shoulders, popping collars, ensuring that nothing is twisted or stuck in an awkward position, and then taking one last detailed look at yourself in front of the mirror before you go. Sometimes I like to step away from the mirror for a moment and then walk back in front of it with fresh eyes. Anyone who has done painting or artwork throughout their lives might know this technique well. It can be so beneficial to just take your eyes off your painting for a moment and then stand back and look at it again from afar with fresh eyes. My second styling tip to dress better in 2021 is to balance top to bottom. So there are two different balancing tips that I want to address here. The first is a quite a generalized tip and that is to balance the weight of your clothes on the bottom to the top. So for example, if you have a big flowy skirt, pairing it with another big flowy item on top might be a little bit too much. Consider pairing it with a more fitted top or if this skirt is quite a showy piece already, just anything plain on the top will do the trick. With that being said though, there also can be some exceptions to this rule. You also need to consider your own body shape when balancing top to bottom. For example, a few weeks ago, I had a customer in the fitting rooms at work and she was trying on multiple things. She mainly came in for this one off the shoulder top that had quite billowy sleeves. She loved that style and that is what she was in the market for. Her body shape was an inverted triangle, so she was heavier up the top than she was down the bottom. So she tried on this puffy sleeve off the shoulder top that we had and she wore them with her skinny jeans that she was wearing already. When she came out of the fitting rooms, she was really disheartened and proceeded to tell me that she felt like the top made her look even broader than she already was but she was so torn because she really loved the style of the top and this is what she came in to buy. So I was straight up honest with her and I told her, yes, you are bigger up the top than you are down the bottom, but the reason you're feeling as though that is exaggerated up the top is because you're wearing skinny jeans. So all we needed to do for her body shape was to balance it out. In my eyes, that meant an A-line skirt, something that brought her in at the waist, but then popped out at the bottom. So I brought her an A-line skirt and the moment she came out of the change rooms, I could instantly tell that she felt so much better. She was so happy with how she looked and how the two pieces paired together. And she said she was quite shocked that that actually worked. So that is like a little exception to the rule. You do have to think about your body shape and balancing out your body shape and how your clothes can do that. My third styling tip to dress better in 2021 is to use the three color rule. The three color rule basically means to ensure that you create a cohesive outfit, use no more than just three colors. The three color rule helps me a lot when I'm putting outfits together. If I'm putting an outfit together and I'm struggling with like those final pieces like shoes and jackets, I remember the three color rule and that always helps me to grab the right piece and to not add in an additional color that might end up confusing the whole outfit. The three colors that are used in this rule can also be tones or shades of a certain color. So you could have like two shades of blue in a certain outfit plus two additional colors and that would still be considered the three color rule. Or you could have two different shades of pink in an outfit and then an additional two other colors and that would still pass as the three color rule. My fourth styling tip to dress better in 2021 is to accessorize properly. Sometimes I think we forget how influential a small accessory can be. Accessories can pull an entire outfit together and finish off the look. If you're looking at ways to dress better with accessories, I would suggest finding a few basic everyday accessories that you can reach for when you're in a rush. For me, these everyday accessories that go with almost every outfit are like a small gold hoop, a gold watch, and a small pendant necklace. I also have like my everyday sunglasses, which mine are prescription sunglasses, but I find that they go with most of my outfits. On top of that, I have an everyday tote bag in a nice light beige color, which I find goes with 
basically everything as well. Having some really versatile accessories means that you don't have to have as many accessories overall. My fifth styling tip to dress better in 2021 is to coordinate your colors. I personally think that the easiest way to do this and make sure that your colors match is to jump onto Pinterest. So you jump onto Pinterest and you try to look for an outfit that incorporates the colors that you're intending to wear. For instance, you could type into Pinterest red top with green skirt outfit. I can search that and see that it's not really showing me many great options. However, I do see a few pink and green color combinations here. So instead I will research pink and green outfit and see what I get. All of a sudden there's an abundance of outfit inspiration that I really like. So I know that this is the better color combination for me to go for. Another important thing to consider when coordinating colors is to make sure the colors that you are wearing bring out the best in you. Certain colors look better for certain skin tones and it takes a little bit of research and some trial and error to find out what colors best suit you. Ask a friend or a family member who you can trust to help you choose which color looks best on your skin tone. So my sixth styling tip to dress better in 2021 is to plan your outfit the night before. I have made an entire video in the past about how I plan my outfits, so I will link it above here. But planning outfits in advance is the best way to ensure that you will be dressing better in 2021. It means that you can actually take the time to work out the perfect outfit rather than rushing just before you have to leave the house. And best of all, over time, planning your outfits will actually teach you a lot more about fashion and styling and you will eventually begin to dress better overall. My seventh tip for dressing better in 2021 is to make sure your closet is organized. I cannot stress this enough. If you are looking to upgrade and dress better this year, you have to be organized and know exactly what is in your closet. If you want wardrobe organization tips, you can watch my organization video by clicking up on the screen here. And if you enjoyed today's video, you might like to see more of my fashion and lookbook styling videos by clicking up on the screen over here. Or you can follow me over on Instagram at Emily Elizabeth May. I appreciate you so much. See you next time. My fifth. Bleh.